Hey, this is Andrew Walker of PhysioWorks, and um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, soleus muscle and um, why it's such an important muscle for runners. I'm just um, looking to share it to a couple of places right now before we get going. So if you're um, joining us today to you know, interested in what we're about to say, just hold on for a minute and um, I will start talking about the, um, about the importance of the soleus any minute now. My internet's running a little bit slow, so I hope that doesn't affect the um, the video today. We will see. Let's see. Share. And Alrighty, so let me get back onto my camera and get back to you guys. Okay, so um, today what we're going to talk about is the um, soleus muscle, and it is a very important muscle, but it's a muscle we didn't used to think was so important. It's a muscle that we thought was um, something that was just mildly posture, it gave us a little bit of stability, it helped us to balance, but we're actually finding now that it's far more important when it comes to um, to distance running. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to switch to my um, anatomy software here, and we're going to share my screen. You're going to get to see a little bit about what the soleus is. So hopefully you can um, you can see that now. I think you can. So let me move this box out of the way. What you can see right now is you can see several muscles. You can see the, um, the medial, um, that's the inside part of the gastroc muscle, and then the lateral part of the gastroc muscle. And basically these are the two main muscles you see when you look at the back of someone's calf. That is what forms a lot of the apparent bulk of the muscle. And what you can see at the top of the, um, of the muscle, and um, let's see if I can annotate this a little bit. You can see hopefully there and there, that is where it actually goes above the level of the knee joint. So the knee joint runs through there. And um, that is the gastroc muscle runs above the knee joint. It also then, down here at the level of the Achilles, attaches into the ankle and the calf. So it's what we call a two joint muscle. That means that it does, it can, has the potential of moving two joints. So when you, um, not sure how to get rid of this, these pen marks now, it's funny, isn't it? Um, let's see, how do we get rid of it? <laughs> Undo, there we go. There you go, all gone, pen's gone. So anyway, so it's called a two joint muscle. So basically that means it has the ability to flex the knee and it also has the ability to point the foot down at the ankle, what we call plantar flexion. So that's the gastroc muscle. That's what you see in the calf. So people, when they think calf muscle, that's what they're thinking of, the gastroc muscle. And like I say, people have previously thought the soleus muscle was a muscle that was purely about posture. So if we take away these, um, this gastroc muscle, so if we uh, click back on it, and we say hide, and we click on this one and say hide, and then we're gonna hide the Achilles tendon. The, the, the computer model here doesn't do the greatest job because it actually makes it look like the Achilles is just part of the, ga the gastroc. But then you see this big old meaty muscle down here, the soleus, and um, so it's kind of a broad and flat muscle, and it forms actually a bigger percentage of the calf muscle bulk than the, um, the gastroc. It forms about 56% of the um, calf muscle bulk. So it's actually a really um, big muscle. And when... Okay, so hopefully we're back live again. I see there's one person watching, and... Um, we did get a, our stream broken for a second. Our internet apparently is having problems today. Anyhow, 
So 50% of your vertical force when you're running comes from this soleus muscle. I'll highlight it again here. Um, it's a big old muscle. It does a lot of a lot of a lot of forces are running. It's not just a postural muscle like we used to think. Um, so basically, it's responsible for plantar flexing the foot. Okay, but it's what we call a one joint muscle as compared to the other calf muscle, the gastroc. It doesn't. Um, it attaches. Here's the level of the knee joint here. It attaches below the knee, and then through the Achilles, which has been resected here. Um, it basically has the effect of um, on the um, of pointing the pointing the foot and pointing the ankle down. So its job, as well as the gastroc, is to plant the plant the foot down, but it doesn't have any effect on the knee. So when we run, this muscle is very important. What I'm going to do, I'm going to in a second, I'm going to switch to um, to a different camera um, to sort of show what that what that looks like, but. In terms of um, why this is important, I think this is some other little stats that are quite useful for you to know as a runner. So when you're walking, through your Achilles tendon, there's three and a half times your body weight force, okay? And then when you do a single leg heel raise, there is also three and a half times body weight force. So you, know, you might be thinking, okay, I'll just go and do more heel raise exercises to, um, to get my calf muscles nice and strong and that will help me as a runner. Well, the problem is, is that when we look at running, running is actually four and a half to eight times body weight force at the Achilles. So both the gastroc and the soleus muscles attach through the Achilles to the ankle to actually stimulate, simulate, sorry, the loads that you need to have to, um, to run. You need to have more than just body weight. Body weight calf raises may be a good way of learning something at first, and getting a feel for an exercise, but they're not sufficient enough. So what I'm going to switch to now is I'm going to switch over to a different camera in the clinic, and I'm going to show you a, um, a few different exercise variations and just help you to see why this soleus muscle is so important. So I'm going to switch over to this camera here, and um, I'm just going to change the, change the mic microphone. All right, so hopefully you can um, hear me pretty good. I'm going to move this stool that way for a second. So. If I'm running, when I run, I land on my foot and my knee bends. At that point, I do a calf raise. So as a distance runner, you're, you're doing a calf raise with a bent knee. That primarily is the soleus. Whereas sprinting, there's, there's more of a straight leg. There's less bend under stance and more of a propulsion forward. So distance running, you tend to use more the soleus and um, more speed based running, sprinting, you tend to use the gastroc a bit more. So from that and from the stats we just talked about, we can see how important it is to be able to do bent knee calf raises. So standing calf raises, you might be great. Very often with runners, I tell them I want you to be able to do 25 standing calf raises and um, to be able to, to, be, to be back to running. But uh, that only tells a small part of the picture. If I then get someone who can do that, and then have them bend their knee, and have them do calf raises, and all of a sudden I see it's very hard for them to keep that level of bend in the knee. As they come up, they start to straighten, or rather than going up and down, they just tend to kind of move forward like that. I can see that they're struggling more with that soleus muscle and getting the propulsion they need through the calf when the knee is bent. So it's a very important um, exercise to, to, to improve on. Well, it's not easy to do a standing single leg bent knee calf raise, okay? Um, so for that reason, one of the simplest ways for someone to learn how to do it is to sit in a, sit in a chair and to do a single leg calf raise here. Well, now I've not got any body weight going through my leg. I can tap my leg like this all day. And, maybe a little bit sore by the end of it, but it really wouldn't be doing anything meaningful. So at the gym, or at home, if you've got weights, you could take a weight. It might have to be a pretty heavy weight. This is 45 pounds. At 45 pounds, with the axes of the weight going down through my shin and through my calf, I can do a good raise here, and that is primarily working the soleus. Now, it's working the gastroc, these more superficial muscles, a little bit, but it's really making a good deal of work in the soleus. 
Um, at some gyms, they'll have a calf raise machine where you pull the bar down and it sits over your knees and you can do raises in there. Well, I haven't got one of them in the clinic here, but I do have a leg extension machine. You can use the leg extension machine to do it as well. So you pull the knee bar up so that it's over the top of the, the knees here, and then I can do calf raising. You can do it one leg. It's a little bit more awkward, to be honest, than with the free weight. Um, I like doing it one-sided versus two-sided because you can really isolate what weight you need to have. Um, but if this is the best option you have, that's a good thing to go with. Well, if you know, you're struggling, you haven't got big, any big heavy free weights, or if you haven't got a machine, another thing you can try, because when I do this here, and do a single leg calf raise, I've got to have pretty good balance to do that, even though I'm holding on. Um, Instead, what you can do is you can get yourself against the wall. It doesn't matter if this is the mirror, it's a wall still. And um, I can do a wall sit. And then once I'm there, I can raise up on tiptoes. So here I'm loading my glutes, my hammies, my quads. And now I'm really doing a good deal of work down at my soleus. And um, I can then work on trying to hold it for long, more, more prolonged periods of time. Uh, I could add a couple of lighter hand weights to load myself down that way. So all of a sudden, we've got several different um, tools that we can use to help to target that soleus muscle. Now it's not to say that you shouldn't do standing calf raises, just pure standing calf raises. There probably is still benefit for a distance runner to improve the strength in their gastro. Um, but very often I found that runners have only been doing them They've only been doing them because they're beside it themselves, or even their um, rehab clinicians, their PTs, their chiropractors, whoever, have been telling them to do that. And um, the soleus muscle has been un un under underlooked. Uh, it's not being given the attention it needs. And there is even some research suggesting that the soleus muscle may be uh, a prime muscle of importance when it comes to people with Achilles tendon pain, Achilles tendinopathy. And um, I'm going to go back over to the computer now. <clears throat> All right. So if you're um, just joining us, um, we're talking about the soleus. We've just been through some exercises that can um, can target the soleus muscle. Um, as ever, just be um, be careful on what you do. If you're uncertain, it's always worth um, contacting a health professional. If you've got pain, um, not just in small little soreness, but if you've got pain that you're concerned about, that's also when it's worth seeing a health professional such as a physical therapist. But um, this is the muscle. This is your soleus. If I click on it, it lets me click on it. Oh, done. There we go. That's the soleus, a big, broad muscle, 56% of your calf muscle in most people. And um, as you can see from the, um, from the annotations I've got on the screen here, uh, it provides 50% of the vertical force when running. The load at the Achilles is three and a half times body weight when you walk. It's three and a half times body weight when you do a single leg heel raise. But with running, it's four and a half to eight times body weight when you do, uh, when you, in the Achilles when you do that. So basically, if you're not doing it with load, you're really not conditioning the, um, the muscle tendon unit for the thing that you want to do, which is running. Really, typically, we want to um, use heavier loads and um, heavy load strength exercises three times a week, you know, not, not every day. Every other day is probably a reasonable number. That has been shown to improve running efficiency and um, we, theory being, we improve running efficiency, we um, reduce injury, uh, injuries and improve injury um, prevention. So, didn't want this to be a particularly long um, Facebook Live today, just a quick one about um, the soleus. Unfortunately, the um, video feed did poop out on us once, and um, hopefully, if you go back and look at the video again, there won't be a break in it, but um, if you're a runner, don't neglect your soleus, give it some love, 
have a look at the um, the video, the exercises that I showed. And if you've got questions, uh, you're always welcome to message me for your concerns. You're always welcome to come in for uh, one of our free discovery visits or uh, come in as a paid patient if, um, if you need to. Um, anyone got any questions now who's watching live? Yeah. Stay in this view right now. Any questions, anyone? Working um, on loading the sodius is very often something that I do with people with Achilles tendon pain, Achilles tendinopathy. You know, people think of the, uh, the Achilles tendonitis and the idea that it's a problem with swelling and they treat it with anti-inflammatories. They you know, unfortunately may have an injection. Uh, we know really now that that's not the, um, not the prime problem in the Achilles tendon. It's actually a tendinopathy where the, the cellular structure of the tendon changes in little spots and it's un unable to deal with the forces of, uh, of running or whatever sport. And um, we know that heavy load exercises targeting the tendon, that's a, the problem tendon, uh, has a really good effect. So doing both um, straight-legged and bent-legged calf exercises is very important, and they have to be to a high enough level of, of, of load. So like you see in these, this picture in these annotations, just body weight calf raises is not enough to stimulate the level of load that goes through the Achilles with running. So um, again, if you go back through the video, you should see some, um, some different options that you can use, use them with caution, use them with care. If you have questions or you're uncertain, message me. Um, if you're watching right now, does anyone have any questions? Feel free to, to message them. Let's see any questions right now. I've lost part of my screen, that doesn't help. There we go. Let's go back onto here. Anyone got any questions about Achilles, tendons, or about calf problems? about their sodius, particularly. Okay, my comments box is gone, so I'm hoping no one's asking questions and I'm not missing them. Let's see. Nope. None so far. So, I think I'm going to sign off in a second if there's no um, no questions that people have got. But seriously, if you're a runner, look after that Sobius. And um, like I say, I've given some options that you can use within the video using either free weights, body weight to a degree that you need to progress beyond body weight, but also there are machines at the gym that you can use um, uh, to help you. Some of them using for the purpose they're designed for, but also you can actually alter how you use some of the machine, Amish, the leg extension machine to actually target the car. So, it's good to be live with you, and um, I will say goodbye, and if you've got questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll, um, I'll address them later. You'll have a good day.